It's crazy, dude. Yeah, dude, it's wild. <laughs> it's just a bar with everyone smoking weed, hardly anyone drinking, and then you guys are just playing jazz. And it's crazy. You know what you just gave me the idea for? Digital shamanism. Dude, you know how we just said like two days ago, though. No, 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 but just right now with this, because you know how trippy this is that this just a fucking you know bar we're walking into from the street, and you know how we walked out like suddenly right here, and then suddenly you're in there, and so now we're about to walk in, and we're we're going on a journey basically. Yo, fuck man, journey I'll make every fucking Friday, man. <laughs> Without this place, we would not be the band we are today. You know, we got this stage, we can do whatever we want for two hours, man. Everyone's so high, they don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, cause we gotta play good, because the boys know what's good, you know. But, you know, we also get to experience. Hold on, we're going home. From... Oh, yeah. Apparently this isn't the only one. No, there's a bunch of other ones with lounges. We were trying to get gigs at other ones too. But like this is a thing in Vancouver having weed bars. Like, yeah, it's, just, it's pretty new. And, and it's right off the street. Yeah. How old is the oldest one? The oldest one has been around since I've been around. Like would you say 10 years, 20 years? Uh, at least 10 Five. years. At least 10 years. What? Goes out to Tony Street. Baby, I love you. So that's what I've been drinking and playing. That's jazz and beer, baby. Straight on it. I saw in the newspaper uh, there was a conference coming through town of how to open up one of these on your own. It's like a how to open up, how to get a dispensary license, like concert. Anyone can do it. It's really like any fucking young business owner who likes to smoke weed can fucking open up one of these. Like, like, would the cops ever bust in here? I haven't heard about one busting one for a long time. But this is just like a thing in Vancouver now. Yeah, dude. And I, and I think, you know, I think technically it's still in a pretty legal gray area in terms of the actual law. But it, whatever the gray area is, it's still happening. It's still happening. Smoothly. No one fucks with it. Everything about it just trips me out. The hula hoops. But you know what else is crazy? Like those two drunk girls came in, hula hooping and shit, and like they're hot, right? And they're drunk as shit. And like no one's going over and hitting on them. Like, you know, like at a bar that just be like, Ugh. and here everyone's just like, yeah, cool, they're having a good time, like whatever. I think this is a much healthier type of bar. It's a lot more respectful. Like, but those turned into bars, you know, with alcohol, which is kind of like a more like violent drug. Imagine if they had turned into this. 
Friday and Saturday night, we're just getting fucking high and listening to jazz. <laughs> Leaves on the front window.